on today, Senator Brenner? Uh, well, we have a great school choice rally here uh, to support uh, the students and the families willing to uh, go to the school that is best uh, suited for the needs of their uh, kids. So do you ever worry about like with this school choice, I and mean, we have school choice in Ohio currently, right? Yes, we do. So do you ever worry like with the expansion? I mean, you remember the ECOT scandal, right? Of course. I mean, you were, you I were the same. shut it down. Well, I mean, you also helped set it up, and I don't. No, mean, I, I never set it up. <laughs> you it didn't set it. They called you Ecot Andy, but come on, well, brother, that's come the on. Democrats lie. I mean, you were on the, the you were on the education committee, yes. weren't you? And, and I'm the I one mean, that put into the yeah, law so the I mean, to shut them down. Well, I mean, but we they screwed us out of money. Bill Logger. Yeah, but he's not still, as much as the city of Columbus is for the kids that aren't uh, showing up. In fact, I think no, this ain't no. See, no, we're talking about Ecot. No, I'm not. You are. I mean, but that's the, that's where school choice leads, right? It leads to the like the grifters. No, it doesn't. We eliminated that. You should know that. Read the law. How'd you eliminate it? Nice to see you. Oh, Mr. Sykes. Did you get my uh, little uh, uh, memo about the nine passenger community? Yes, we have school I'm submitting. You're gonna put that in. That's probably good. But we'll yeah, talk again, Brandon. What's good? Are we no longer? Are we no longer friends, Mr. Sykes? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I got the cortisone shot. Uh, I'm getting lined up for surgery. I, I dirty, saw, but I, dirty, my, my yeah, I see that. I spent Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Hi, Liz, working in the garden. Yeah, planting all with the knee. Stuff. That's impressive. Yeah, yeah you know, got to do it. Yeah, it's planting season. Right. Man, well, this school choice nonsense. Are you a believer well, well, in that? Well, well, I mean, we've already got. No, 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 we've no, already okay. got. We, we have a good school choice program in Ohio. We made it better in the house. The issue, I've been a supporter of school choice, just as I've always been a supporter of public schools. That's why I lobbied very hard for full funding of the fair school funding formula for the public schools, but at the same time to try to broaden school choice. The problem with universal vouchers right out of the gate is twofold. First, the cost, because we don't know what it's gonna cost. And second, there's a lot of areas in the state that do not have existing private schools to which the kids could attend if given a voucher. I mean, that's all and like southeastern Ohio, right. northwestern and, Ohio. And, and then the risk is, if you do it right away out of the gate, you'll have a bunch of grifters and fly-by-nighters <laughs> that come up and set up a new school and yeah. you know we, we don't need that that's that's what, I, well, that's what i was busting up senator brenner about he ecot you remember the ecot i scandal. remember ecot and i you remember know? some of those electronic and bill, bill logger i mean he, he's down in his mansion down I, in florida I, I still i completely understand that so yeah. that's why i favor an incremental approach and let's be sure the supply meets demand because we just don't want a whole bunch of uh new schools popping up for people that are just going to take the money and run. That's not in the best interest of student achievement, in my view. Right? Appreciate the time, Mr. Sykes. Right. You think you think it's so you think it's going to they're going to have a rough go of it I in the house? This, no, I think no, no. I think the Senate is going to uh, Senate, yeah. Out in what we did. Yeah. Okay. And you know, as long as they don't mess with the fair school funding formula, I'm willing to give them. You know, the way it works around here, you got to give to get. And the key is to make sure that fair school funding formula is funded. We said we were going to do it, so we got to do it, right? That's simple. Right now, they're basing the, the fair school funding formula on 2018 cost inputs. Well, what happened in the last five years? A lot of inflation. So you've got to update those cost inputs to reflect the inflation that's occurred over the last five years, and that means using 2022 cost inputs, right? Because that, guess that's my concern. Because I mean, school choice. I mean, a lot. Of, it doesn't help the kids that don't have parents that don't even know what school choice well, is. Well, you know, I yeah. was. I'm one of the only persons in the general assembly who served on both a public school board mm. and a parochial school board mm. early in my career. So I see the value of both. My kids went to Catholic school down in Hamilton County, where I'm from. They've got a Catholic school just about on every corner, okay? But most places in Ohio don't have that. The Catholic schools down there have a tremendous record. I mean, you're talking about St. Xavier and Elder and LaSalle. These are great schools, you know? So they do do a good job. But <laughs> if you just throw it out there and say everybody can start a school now and collect all this money without adequate accountability, that would not be good. Yeah, because I mean, that's... And there's John Brown. Yeah, you know John Brown? Thank you, thank you. A lot of people don't know John well, Brown. Somebody, you asked somebody who's John Brown and you didn't know who John Gary Brown Gary Click. Gary <laughs> Okay, well. You see, I mean, but see, and he and he's in, he wants to be in charge of other people's public well, education. John, John Brown was a, a prominent abolitionist. And yeah. 
He Are you a fan? Because that's what Malcolm, Malcolm X said, you can judge a white man by how he feels about John Brown. Well, John Brown was an ardent believer in a great cause, but he kind of overplayed his hand. Hey. And decided to take over the Harper's Ferry arsenal, and that yeah. was it. And you, you know, Ron, his mistake wasn't taking it over. His mistake huh? was trying to defend it. Well, it was, that's it, true. It was in defense. And you know, ultimately, it was a little historical fact, it was Robert E. Lee that commanded the detachment that took him in and arrested yeah. him and ultimately hung well, him. At least, at least Robert E. Lee's in hell right now. You well, know. well <laughs> but that's, that's the whole history. All right. All right. Appreciate you, Mr. Zeiss.